Hello, so I'm going to be making a follow-up video from my last one where I created a Meepo and Invoker script, and a lot of people have been requesting a Tinker one, so I'm going to do it. So to clarify a few things, um, a lot of people are asking where you should save these, and it can be anywhere in your computer, and to run a script all you got to do is double click on it, or right click and click run script, as long as you have auto hotkey installed, which um, is just on autohotkey.com. So, just download that and then all this should work and there's nothing else you really need. Um, I'd recommend Notepad++ over Notepad because it just makes it a little easier to see what you're doing. It has line numbers and stuff, I'll show you. So, and it's got like numbers for the lines and it just looks like a, a, a better way to do it. So. Um, so, I'll be placing the script with the other ones I made in a folder on Mediafire and I'll put that link in the description. And other than that, let's uh let's jump right into it. So first thing you're gonna want to do is load up Dota and go to Heroes and click on Tinker and click on the dem demo hero and level to max. So you get all the abilities. You're probably gonna want to buy all the items you'd use. So this, something like that, and uh. My sentiments exactly. Basically what we're going to do is find out what keys you're using and a big important thing with this is make sure quick cast is enabled for abilities and items so that the script will work properly or else you're going to have to and it just won't work so just make sure these are both on and Positively. that should be good and then spawn a dummy target and the combo we're going to want to do is I like to do it in this order it's going to be E-Blade into Scythe into Dagon into heat seeking missile, laser, and then rearm, and then well. just repeat. So it'd be like something like this. Incoming. Something like that. And uh, it'll be a lot faster I'm though once we do the script. So uh, find out what keys you're using. So mine's gonna be Z, X, C, E, Q, F. Okay, that's really about. important. Just know what keys you're using. And then we're gonna create a new auto hotkey script call it tinker and oh, I didn't want to run that um, just right click and then I'm going to edit with notepad plus plus get rid of all this so first things first we're going to want to add a couple hooks in to make it so our keyboard works with the game and it's going to look something like this just copy and paste this you don't really need to know what this does it's just uh, some prereqs for our program and then <clears throat> I'm going to create uh, an exit button, like an emergency exit. If you want to turn it off, you keep clicking it on accident or something, and it's just not working out for you. So that's going to be something like this. So what the uh, carrot and the zero is, is control, oh, I can't type, and zero at the same time, and then that'll exit immediately. Um, so for tutorial purposes, we're going to start with a simple combo. Uh, we're going to bind that to the one key and that's going to be till day one. And then I always sleep for 50 milliseconds just to, uh, I don't know. I just like to do that with all my, with all my scripts. It seems to work better. So first things first, that's it. And then again, we're going to look at our keys. So for the simple one, we're going to do Dagon, heat seeking, laser, and then rearm. <coughs> so our Dagon was... C right, so it's gonna be send input C and then sleep again. And I've messed with the timings for these, and what seems to work for me is about 300 milliseconds. Now we're gonna do the same thing send input, and then what was it? Let's see, see, I even need to look again. So C, E, Q, F, E sleep. Uh, I think I'm going to do 250 on this one. Let's do 200. And this is just from testing. I've changed my numbers around a little bit just to make things work uh, better, more consistent this way. Uh, it won't skip spells or anything, so I just stick with the timings I use. You can adjust them yourself if something's not working right. Um, it might not work on your computer the exact same way depending on what FPS you're getting or whatever, so we'll see. D E U 
And this is the important part. This one you're going to sleep for 500, and that's because you want to kind of cancel the animation when you go to rearm so it won't it won't take as long. That's just again from testing. F and then you're going to sleep for 200 just in case and return. And that's bound to the one key. And we can run that. And if we open up like just Google or something, press one, you'll see it typed it out. So you know it's working. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then we'll open up Dota. And make sure your one key's not bound to anything. I know mine is, so I'm gonna change that. That's really important. Make sure one's not like something else, like an item or something. And so I'm gonna unpause this. And then press one. And an important thing with this is make sure your your, uh, your mouse, your cursor is on the target. It always has to be on the target. If you do it over here, it won't work. The missiles will still work because they don't need a target, but that's the only thing that will work. Alright, you guys get the point. So let's work on the, the full combo. And that's really easy. It's the same thing again. I'm going to do a lot of copying and pasting. So that's going to be sleep 50. Send input uh, X. Let's see, sleep 300. Send input C. Three fifty, and a lot of you um, wanted to ask questions about what things were doing and weren't really. I'm assuming a lot of you downloaded the script and then went to run it, and it didn't work right with your setup. So I'd really appreciate if you just watched the full video and kind of figured things out for yourself. Try to write this out yourself and maybe make some adjustments, change some keys around, so that you understand it better by the time it's over, and that way you can go to make your own for a character like I sat down and I made this in like five minutes and it took me minimal effort because I understand what things are doing so if you just take the time I promise it's worth it alright so <clears throat> after C we got V and sleep 200 you this is the important one again 500 and then F oops sleep 200 and return so don't forget your return statement that'll if you don't put that it won't work so now we have one and two i go back in the game for a second. Well, unpause it, and I'm going to refresh. Indeed. This. Absolute. Didn't run the script. See, that's just... Wow. Okay. Let's go. As you can see, it works perfectly. This uh, Your target will pretty much never get out of um, scythe form or uh, the hex, so... You know what, actually... I messed up. And you can see, if you watch, my E-Blade's not going off. And that's because I started assuming that the uh, E-Blade was here. You gotta watch for that. What Your am I doing? It's like this. XCV EQF. Okay. Make sure you don't do what I just did, and that could cause problems for some of you. Um, make sure your E-Blade's in the right spot to Your start, and I'm ju I just kind of go attack. one by one. From Very well. There we go. Okay, so that's Tinker. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you guys want to know... Uh, what you could do with any other characters, let me know. Uh, I'd be glad to make a tutorial. These take 30 minutes to make, if that, and takes 5 minutes to upload, so 
I'd be glad to answer any of your questions. Just leave anything in the comments and leave a like uh, or subscribe. Thank you.